Hello grade for foreigner level 2 students. How are you? Hope you're fine. Our topic for this week is about do you like cheese? In this video, I am going to provide a detailed explanation of this lesson. So let's start. In this lesson, the student should be able to identify the usage of the verbs to like and to love in Arabic language. Objective number two, change from affirmative into negative using less to, laysa, and la. The main focus of this lesson is to use the verbs to like and to love in Arabic language. Let's assume you were in a restaurant with your friend and he or she asks you, do you like cheese? If you are a man, she will ask you, هل تحب الجبن? So here, do means hell since it's a yes or no question. You like means تحب and cheese means الجبن. And if you are a woman or a feminine, She'll ask you, هل تحبين الجبن? So, if this person is speaking to a masculine, the, the question will be, هل تحب الجبن? If this person is speaking to a feminine, the question will be, هل تحبين الجبن? The answer to this question will be, Yes, I like cheese, which means naam, yes means naam, I like uhibbu and cheese aljubun. This, in this way, we answered in the affirmative voice. So, naam uhibbu aljubun, which an answer to the question, hal tuhibbu aljubun, in the masculine term, or هل تحبين الجبن in the feminine term the same answer will be in the affirmative voice now we shouldn't forget that the verb here أحب is we are using the first point of view while we, when we were asking the question do you like uh, she is here we were using the second point of view because we were talking to a person you but when we answered the question which yes I like she is nam uhibbu al jubun here the answer will be uh, in the first point of view and the uh, Negative voice now, I don't like cheese. I don't like cheese. As we said, I like cheese means أحبو الجبن. And as we have taken previously in, uh, previously in certain lessons or in the lessons before, then when we have a verb in a sentence, we need to put before it لا. So whenever we notice a verb in the sentence to change from affirmative into negative, we need to put before this verb the word la. So it becomes la uhibbu al jubun, which means I don't like cheese. We know that we can use the verb uhibbu to express those that we love or like something or someone so if you just appreciate something you can use أحبو. on the contrary it's also the verb to use when talking about something you really love or about the person you are in love with now in fact the verb أحبو has different levels of understanding and this often depends a lot on the word that comes before it. For example, if you say I like cheese very much, 
which means I like cheese very much, which means in the Arabic language, أُحِبُّ الجبن كثيراً. This means that you like cheese very much. So, here, the word كثيراً, it's a new word, it means in English, very much or a lot. To say that you like cheese with bread, you can say أحب الجبن مع الخبز. Here I like is أحب. You're answering in the first point of view. Cheese, as we said, mean, means الجبن. With means ma and bread means الخبز. So the sentence becomes أحب الجبن مع الخبز. So الخبز means bread. Now, how to say I love in Arabic language? Usually, we use the verb I love when someone fell in love with, uh, when someone fell in love with a girl or a boy. Or when this girl fell in love with a boy, or when this boy fell in love with a girl. Now, in English, when someone loves the other, he says, I love you. If the girl loves the boy, she says to him, Ana uhibbuka. I love, love means uhibbu. And you here is ka because we are talking to a boy. So ka, the girl here is saying, I love you to a boy. But what if the boy is saying, I love you to the girl? Here he says, Ana uhibbuki. Which will be you which will be which will be using here kasra and ka but when the girl is saying i love to a boy here we use the fatha ana uhibbuka so this ka here signals for fatha and this key here signals for kasra so here notice that we said that the word i like means but if you fell in love with someone, now the word أحبو will mean I love in English, not I like. In Arabic, if you want to tell someone that you fell in love or you are in love with them, there is a stronger way to express by saying أنا مغرمون بكي if a man is talking to a woman so if a man is talking to a woman he says to her Anna Mohramon Biki but if a woman is talking to a man she says to him, Ana Mughramatun Bika. So it means Ana Mughramatun Bika. Notice here the word Mughrama. When the woman is talking to a boy, we use the tamar buta because she is a feminine. She is the one who loves this boy. And here we said bika because she's talking directly to a boy. While in the other scenario, when the man was talking to a woman, we said ana mughramun because the one who's talking is a boy. And because this man is talking to a woman, he said ana mughramun biki. So, this kasra signals for key. The other part of our lesson is how to negate verbs, or in other words, how do we change from affirmative into negative? 
Usually, to change from affirmative into negative, we have to use three words, and each word has a different situation in the sentence. We negate verbs using las tu, laisa, or la. Now, let's take the first scenario. I have a car. This sentence is in the affirmative voice. What do we mean by I have a car in Arabic? I have a car in Arabic means Ladaya Sayara. Here we are speaking in the first point of view. Ladaya Sayara. Notice here that we have in the sentence I have. So to change this into the negative voice or to negate this sentence, it becomes I don't have a car. Notice here what did how did we negate the sentence? The sentence I have a car means Ladaya Sayara. Here we negated the sentence by adding one of the words that changes the sentence from affirmative into negative, which is Laisa. So whenever we have Ladaya in the sentence, which means in English, I have, we put Laisa before I have or before Ladaya. This is the first situation. Now the second situation. I own a car here. I change the sentence from I have a car to I own a car. Here I added a verb in the sentence. I own a car is in the affirmative voice. I don't own a car is in the negative voice. I own a car means in the Arabic language, amliku sayyara. While to change it into the negative voice, let's see what does it become. I don't own a car means la amliku sayyara. Here, why didn't we put laisa and we put la? Notice here that we have a verb in the sentence which is own. And own, as we said, means amliku. So whenever we have a verb in the sentence, we have to put la before the verb. So let's make a summarization for the first two cases. If we have I have in the sentence, which is Ladaya, we need to put Laisa before Ladaya in order to negate the sentence. While if we have a verb, an action verb in the sentence, we need to put La before this action verb in order to negate the sentence. Now the third scenario and the last one actually. Here the sentence is I am ready. Is it's in the affirmative voice. In order to change it to the negative voice, it becomes I am not ready. What do you mean by I am ready? I am ready means Anna Jahiz. How do we change this sentence Anna Jahiz, which is in the masculine form into a feminine form? Usually we add to Jahiz Ta Marbuta, it becomes Anna Jahiza. I am ready means Anna Jahiz. In the negative voice, it's I am not ready. How do we negate this sentence? I am not, not ready becomes Anna Lestu Jahiz. So, why did we add Lestu here? Here we added Lestu because we have I am in this sentence. So, whenever we have I am in the sentence, you need to put less to after am. So here I am means Anna, not here means less to, ready means jahiz if it's a masculine and jahiza if it's a feminine. So Anna less to jahiz or Anna less to jahiza. So to negate the sentences, we need to add less to la or a laisa and each one, ha and each one has a different case.